Bitcoin fell from about $60,000 to nearly $50,000 this week, but it has not deviated retail interest, according to Robbie Liu of OKEX. The investment analyst cited renewed buying activity near the $50,000 level among retail investors, confirmed by the rising long, short ratio and the rising USDT premium in the Asian market. The long, short ratio compares the total number of users opening long positions versus those opening short positions. Bitcoin climbed by more than 7% after testing $50,000 area as its support. Additionally, he highlighted BTC USD 0326, a large volumed Bitcoin futures contract expiring in June that now trades near the $56,200 levels, about 5% higher than Bitcoin's spot rate. Prices tend to follow futures bids. The retail interest in Bitcoin climbed with the ongoing de-risking sentiment among institutional investors. Signs of a resurgent U.S. economy, rising bond yields, and nascent inflation prompted investors to rotate out of the so-called pandemic winners, including Bitcoin, and seek opportunity in markets that suffered majorly during the coronavirus lockdown. As a result, manufacturers, banks, and retail sectors outperformed tech stocks. The U.S. dollar index climbed higher, as well, as longer-dated Treasury yields surged. Retail investors have seemingly been trying to catch the bottom around the past two days while institutions generally want to de-risk. 50,000 USDT is now becoming a key level to watch, said Mr. Liu about Bitcoin. More support for the $50,000 bottom theory appeared from Bitcoin's margin lending ratio. It is the ratio between users borrowing dollar pegged USDT versus borrowing BTC in USDT value over a given time frame. Typically, traders borrow USDT to buy Bitcoin, and those who buy BTC aim to short it. This also indicates that retail investors are confident about the price floor near 50,000 USDT, he added.